No, no I don't believe you one Please. bit, Sharice. Yes. You are a liar. No. You have not no. told me the truth no. all week. This is Sharice Stinson on CCTV. This is her falling on the ground. She claimed her son was kidnapped by a man named Antoine. So the police then bring her in for questioning. We've been to your house. Mm -hmm. They've been looking. They've been looking in every dumpster, trash can, lake, mm -hmm. ditch, grassy area, everywhere, trying to find any explanation of where he might have gone or clue to lead us to where he is, so to speak. Okay. Uh, is there anything we, you'd be concerned about we find around your house? In your house, at the apartment complex. We can go through whatever you want. I know, and I understand that. Whatever you want. But do you know of anything you'd be concerned about? No. Have you thrown away any clothing, bedding, anything over the past few um, days? I threw away a rug because uh, his grandma brought us pizza. Cause that was a couple of days ago. Is that the one rolled up outside? Um, No, that's been outside. They keep okay. yelling yeah, at not, me for not that one. Um, it was a black rug. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, I threw away some clothes in the closet. What'd you throw um, away? A bunch of stuff. Uh, cause I don't know. I don't know if you've been to my house, but the closet's a mess. Uh, and I've been cleaning it out. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I threw that stuff away. But that wasn't today. Uh, what day was it? About. It's been um maybe a couple of days ago. Where'd you throw it away? Um well usually I throw it away inside the neighbor's bin because I don't have a okay. a box. But I just tie it up tie it up in the bag mm -hmm. and put it outside my door and because they come okay. pick up our trash. Okay. <clears throat> so as we keep going through the story, uh we found some clothing today mm -hmm. in the area you live, mm -hmm. and it's concerning. Mm -hmm. I just want to show it to you in a few minutes, and uh, we'll talk about it. But you haven't thrown any clothing away in the um, area you're saying? Not, not, not necessarily. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. We found some clothing that's got blood on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's thrown away. Near the office of the apartment company. Yes, that's from his chin. And I know exactly what you're talking about. It's uh, some red uh, red sweatpants. Mm -hmm. um, oh, shit. I don't know what kind of shirt that was. Um, and you said the chin thing happened about three weeks ago? Mm hmm Why are we just throwing that away now? I mean, I that's not normally thrown in the way like they do whatever they want with the trash. Okay. Cause I and I have proof to show you that I get yelled at. What other clothing was with um, that set? Uh I have no idea. Uh Best you can remember. Towels. It was a towel. Okay. Um, um Uh, I know it's some blue shorts because they're like beach shorts. Uh, I don't know. It was just a bunch of stuff in the closet because I pretty much okay. threw everything in and the you closet. Threw that away when? Um, it's been a couple of days. It's well, been a couple of days. And you put it out by your door. Mm -hmm. And somebody then put this in the office um, trash can because they walk around. They walk. We don't have to throw away our trash. Okay. But they walk around with the bin. And then they collect that trash, and then they get rid of it. Why would you keep that for... You You, you said that was th at least three weeks, mm -hmm. if not a month ago. Um, The same thing with the towel. Because uh, when Jordan even washed the towel, and it still didn't come out, uh, what else? Shit, I don't know. It's still, it's still a bunch of stuff in that closet that could have, okay. that have it on there. Because my bed still has... What happened to Jordan Jr.? Something has happened to him. He's been hurt. Okay. I, I know you're I'm, taking a deep breath, but I'm not. 
fully connecting the dots in what you're saying. It, it, it's just too, it, it looks far-fetched. Okay. We have bloody clothing. Can I say, is there a way I can think about that this has to prove? Because I don't, don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's it's something we could maybe set up in the future. Because They're I not really necessarily reliable. And I don't have the ability to do that to you right here. Mm. Okay. Therese, let, let's, let's back up a little bit. Can you look at me? Is that possible? Or catch your breath and take a look at me for a second. I'm going to go back to Saturday night again. Because I look bad. Cherise, I want you to look at me if you can, please. Can you look up? Listen to me. Can y'all think that too? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back, back that up. Back that up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Who said that? Who said, that? Whoa, Who whoa. said you did something? Cherise, listen. Listen to what I'm going to say to you, okay? Look at me. Look at me. You last saw him when? The last time I see him is when I put him in the car. And then on the passenger side, I did hurt him. And that was Saturday night? That was Saturday night. At about 10. Yes, sir. And then you wake up Sunday morning at about 1.30. Right? And Antoine had him, you think. Right? Yes, sir. What are the odds you think that Antoine is not going to give that child someone, to someone to turn over because he don't want it? He may not pull up to the police department. But he's going to give him sure stop at a gas station and give him someone the at the pump. The only thing I can think of is he left him at the park with me. I don't know. Okay. I don't. That's possible. Know. I don't know, but I don't. I don't. You can. I don't know what you got to do. We're looking. We're still looking. Even though we're having this conversation, people are looking. Believe me. But that doesn't get us any closer to finding him either. And there's these points of the investigation we have to talk about. And I told you it might be difficult. But that's the nature of what's going on. Antoine's not keeping that kid. Am I right? Yes, sir. I, if, I was, if I was in his predicament, I would not. We can agree. all agree there? Yes, sir. So that kid is somewhere. Junior somewhere, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Now, I'll, I'll be a little graphic for a moment, okay? But if we're playing hypothetical and he leaves him with you in the park, he probably would have walked out on the East Bay. He's not going to wander into a dark park. He's not going to go into the darkness. He probably would have been found had he gone near the road whether it was a, a good way or a bad way. You know, people notice a kid wandering around. He's been missing. Oh, we're at 12. We're, we're at about 18 hours. Oh, it's 2 in the afternoon. He's okay. not, and he's not going to leave you if you're there. No. He'll stay with you. He has no idea where to go. He's not just going to wander off into the wilderness and hope somebody picks him up. He's going to stay with you until you wake up or try to wake you up. You are his mother. You are the most close person to him in his life, especially at a young age, even with what's happening and what's going on. Okay? We still don't have a trace of him, Sharice. We have no idea where he left. There's no cameras? No. We went through the cameras on East Bay Drive. We found nothing that can support your story of you walking with a child. Okay, I don't I don't have anything to back up what you're telling me. How's your temper, Sharice? Do you get you get upset sometimes? Um, Lose your temper. The only person who gets me that mad is uh Jordan Senior for mm -hmm. my family. The guy who pawns a child off on you day in and day out. Doesn't but, give you a dollar for money, except when you beg for it. The guy who do up a month ago and doesn't care. The guy who's got you pregnant again. In his own words, he doesn't care. The guy who's basically taking your life down a whole different path and he can go off and party and do whatever. He's left you to be a single mom. Never had a kid before, Jordan. He's your first. You told me that at the hospital. 
He's a person you want to be with, and all he wants to do is get away from you. That hurts. I get it. Well, that, I don't care about that. Well? I don't care about that, because even if I don't have him, I still have my child. Sure, sure. But being a parent can be frustrating. I think most people I work with are parents, and are the most common thing is nothing can push your buttons like your children. They can be frustrating, especially at two. They can be difficult. They can be needy. They can they, they can be hard to deal with, especially alone, especially without support. You're not getting breaks. You don't have someone there to help. Okay, tempers get lost. I've lost my temper with my own children before. It's it's just a part of being a parent. Okay. Sometimes things happen by accident. Sometimes tempers flare. Sometimes they're, you know, they're, they're pretty rigid little guys, but once in a while something happens to them that they, they don't bounce back from right away and it causes parents to get scared and nervous and check the internet, see what things might need to be done. Um, things of that nature. I have a pretty strong idea of what I think happened. Okay. And it doesn't mean it was done with intention to hurt him. It could have been, you know, I don't know the situation, but something has happened with Jordan Jr. over the last few days that you're not telling me. Okay. And what I, it, I want you to tell me the truth, Sharice, with me in the eye, please. I, didn't I just want to know. I have. I did not. Sharice, you, you gotta believe. I did not hurt him. Sharice. I did not. Hurt him, please. Maybe you didn't mean to. I didn't hurt him. Sharice, no, look at me. No, 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 you're not going to say that because I know I didn't hurt him. Oh, baby, it was okay. It was okay. Don't put him in that car. It was okay. Okay, he hasn't been dropped off. We've talked about this. No one's called in. Okay. No one's called in with a good location for where your son is. No, oh, Antoine's okay. called in. They sent an Amber Alert out pretty damn extensively. That's the way we got in touch with Jordan. He got a, a message on his buddy's phone. Okay. People know we're looking for him and nobody wants to be responsible for him. They want to turn him over to us as fast as they can, no matter what the circumstances. Okay. We're looking, but we're not finding much except red flags in his own home. Okay, in his own apartment complex, we've got a bunch of bloody clothing. We've got neighbors saying there was some loud banging going on the other night. We've got some unexplainable Google searches. Right, you see there where he said the neighbors heard loud banging? What the neighbors actually said, the bang, whatever it was on the wall, was so loud, their furniture fell. Basically, something made impact with Sharice's wall and the neighbor's furniture fell. Are you starting to paint a picture now? Also, in case you're confused about this, Antoine, Cherise told police she was walking her son down the road. This guy, Antoine, picked up, asked her for a sexual favor. She said yes. Then he kidnapped the boy. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, something's up. And I'm not going to come down on you. Can you look at me? Or not. Sharice, I'm, I'm not going to raise my voice. I'm not the type to scream, okay? I'm not going to treat you. Look at me. If they hear me yelling or banging this, I'm yelling at Jordan. Sharice, the neighbors reported something got hit on your wall so hard it knocked a piece of furniture off on their side. Okay? I'm not making that up. Something happened at home and we're searching for an explanation and it, Charisse, we're not any closer to finding him than we were 12 hours ago. Okay. You've got a lot of people worried. A lot of people are looking. I, I just, it may be hard to say, but I just want the truth and we'll, we'll work with it whatever way we have to. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. If you got frustrated, Sharice, if you got frustrated with your child, can you be aware of it, please? Need a minute? 
Did somebody hurt him? I don't think nobody will hurt him. Nobody will hurt him. Everybody loves him. That's around him. Please come back. Please come you. back. Please come back. Sharice. He's going to come back. This is in here. Sharice. Therese, we want to be proved wrong, but we all know sitting in this room that Antoine did not keep that child, even if there was an Antoine. He does not have that child. He's giving that child, he's done, got rid of that child if it was in his car ever. Which I'm having doubts about Antoine. Even. We look at the video. Up and down East Bay Drive, and we can't find a video of you walking with a toddler last night. I think you're you're not being forthcoming with us about what can't happen, and I'm pretty sure there is no Antoine that has that, that your child got in the car with. Charisse, sweetheart, I need you to look at me, please. Sweetheart, come on. Make your head up. Look at me. Why not? Why won't you look at us? You didn't walk down East Bay Drive with him last night, did you? I would love to believe you, but there's no video. Let me, you know there's a lot of video on East Bay Drive. Let me, let me show you a map again, okay? I don't think there's an ant on Sharice. I don't either. Last night, Sharice. Let's look at, can you look, can you look at the map? Go ahead. What are you going to say? No. Tell me what you're going to say. Sharice, what did you do? Are you thinking I'm hurting him? No, no, no. See? No, this, this, that's what Listen. you're implying. We, and it is just me, so how I'm supposed to defend myself. Sharice, we're not implying anything. We're but just, that's what it seems but like. But let me, let me ask you this. But that's what Would it you seems rather like. I don't talk to you about the things we're finding? No, I don't. I, I understand. Okay. And I, this is your job. I understand that. I'm just, but damn, like, I, I can't tell you something I don't know. Sharice. I cannot tell we, you something I do not know. Okay. Just, listen, though. No, because I left that house. And I put my baby in a damn car and we drove up, okay? And I sat in and I asked me for no reason because I cannot sit here and provide for my own child. And then y'all sit here making it seem like I did this. I'm not making it seem like you did anything. But it feels like it. But, I, Charisse, are we in agreement that Antoine would have dropped that child off somewhere? Yes. 100%. Because if it was me, because if it was me in that predicament and that was him. Why would I keep a child? Exactly. That's not mine. He's not going to hurt the child. He doesn't want to keep that child. Once he figures out it's still in the back seat, he wants to get rid of that child. Correct? Yes, sir. He doesn't want that kid to get hurt or be responsible. Long before we're even involved, and he's had that kid presumably three hours before anybody knows anything's even wrong. And he ain't keeping that kid three hours. Hell no. He knows he's back there. He wants you to put him in. It's not like he didn't see him. got priorities okay we can deal with that because all I'm trying we don't need to deal with Jordan right now okay we still are stuck with the same problem we have like that's my baby business I know 
And that's all they can think about. Listen, me, listen to me for a second, Sharice. I need you to be focused for just a second, okay? Look at me. You're still free to go. The but door. it's not, I don't even want to go at this point. I understand. I, I, I just want to make sure you know. Okay, you're still free to go. The door's right there. I don't even want to go. All the other night. No, he did not. Did he fall asleep on you? And the only thing I can say that I didn't do was my baby wasn't me. What's that? But I didn't, and actually, uh, these are the same shorts he has on. Those right there? Those are the same shorts he has on. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. That's the same shorts. Okay. Did you do anything to hurt nope. him? Okay. No, I did not. Okay. And I'm under a lot of stress. I know, I know. And, and I'm, 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 I'm trying to and be. Yes, I'm, I'm trying pissed, to be cognizant. But hurting him is, is it hurting him. No, I worked it, too hard. When exactly did you throw the bloody clothes out? I worked too hard. Uh, where or why? When? Um, it's been a couple days, so you would have to see. The dude that comes and pick up our trash and ask him when he picks it up. Okay. Uh, but every I don't I don't really leave and go. I'm scared of trash cans anyway because okay. uh, of worms. So, but I leave my trash by the door. I approve that I get yelled at <laughs> for leaving my trash by the door. Are we um, still okay to be in your house and whatnot? I don't care. We can be there all day, all night. Well, I don't it's care. it's still going. I so, don't care. Um, this is this is this is what we need to focus on right here. Right here. That's what we need to focus on. It's not fair to him. You need to think, look at me. Sweetheart, look at me. <laughs> you need to focus. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me because I want you to hear this. <laughs> look at me. You need to focus on him because it's not fair to him. It is not <laughs> fair. You need to be an adult and be a stand-up person and do what's right for him. That's all that matters. We sit here, it's killing us. You have answers. You need to get in your heart and figure out how to give us those answers. Look at him. Look at him. He's the answer. Nothing else matters. Focus on that. It's not fair to him. It is not fair. No matter what the circumstances are, it's not fair to him. I'm done talking to you, Sharice. If you want to talk to me, knock on the door, let me know. The police made Sharice describe what this Antoine looks like so they can come up with a composite. The police are about to show her this composite. Here it is. This is the official composite of this Antoine individual. Who does that look like? Take a look. Does that look like anyone to you? There you go. Not sure? Well, let the police tell you themselves. We got the composite back. He sent it in. What do you think? What do you think? Sharice, you're free to walk out of here at any time. There's the door. But I still need your help. I don't know where your kid is. And I can't make sense of your story and I've told you why. You're not under arrest. You're here on your own free will right now, trying to help us find your kid. Yes, sir. You know who that looks like? Okay. You know also who that looks like? Who? That looks a lot like you, Sharice. Oh, it does not. Dreads, defined cheekbones. First of all, that's not the lips. The I first thing him. they said when we got that printed out that's is, "Oh my I God, it's her." No, that's not the lips I told him. That is everything you that went over looks, with him on the that phone. That looks like my nose. Those are my eyes. Yeah, it it's does your look hair. Like me. That does look like me because <laughs> he just basically put my face. He's never, Sharice, he's never seen you in his life. He doesn't know what you That's look like. That's not the lips I gave this man. That is everything you did with him. I have no way of manipulating that. Well, I'm glad you agree it looks like you. When a kid gets hurt, and they're having a seizure, and a parent calls 911, there's nothing suspicious about it. But instead, we're supposed to expect he recovered from this seizure... 
completely normal in a few hours to have a normal Saturday, and then we go walking away. And not only that, his grandmother. She could have came inside. Hey, you know what she told me? She said that you told her, she said that, listen, she said that you told her that Jordan wasn't feeling well, and you didn't want him to see her. I never, I never. That's what she said. Well, she's lying because I never Everybody else is fucking lying, right? You know know who I haven't proved is a liar yet? She could have came inside. She could have came inside if she wanted to. That's not the message she got. She could have came inside. You opened the door just enough to get the food in. Anytime she comes over... She's more than welcome to so come inside. So all of these, all of these different she, elements. I'm not saying. I'm hey, not saying. hold on. Because the only time I want to hear out of your mouth is the exact location of this young man. All of this other bullshit is for a little girl, not an adult, not a woman. Sure, shit, not a mom. It's from a scared little kid who doesn't want to get caught and held accountable. And I don't even give a fuck about holding anybody accountable. I want this little boy. I want him home to You that. give up some ridiculous story about I'm going to give a $150 blowjob. Oh, 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 oh. Why would you waste our time with that? If you were still concerned about him. Because I fucked up. I know you did. I get it. When his own grandmother has left the hospital herself. Herself. To come bring you food because you were shit about demanding it. And then you won't even let her see the floor because she, is he even alive at that came. point? Yes, she could have came I in. I certainly don't think so. He was alive. She could have came in. Sharice. Jessica could have Charisse, came in. She could have came Listen, please. Is he fucked up on Saturday? No, he was alive and he kids, was Kids, listen, good. listen. He was alive. I, and I work he was with good. kids' injuries a lot. He was alive listen, and just, he was just good. hear me out. He was watching TV. You may he think okay. he's good. He was good. He was reactive. Kids react- don't recover from reactive. a choking seizure. He was reactive. Um, I, I checked everything. He was reactive. But he's he lethargic in the night. He was playing. And yet, I stayed up to and yet, watch him. Of all days, okay. of all days, he that's the day okay. you decide to put he him into a car. Okay. You can say he that as much okay. as you want. It doesn't make it true. It doesn't make any of this go away. And yet, you're going to stick to your guns that some random weed man came over and has your child. So he has this horrible night, this horrible, some kind of injury, which I be- totally believe is more than what you're making of it. Because you don't have a seizure because you, you sprain your ankle. You don't have a seizure in the night because you just he probably, bumped your I'm leg. I'm pretty sure he hit his head when he fell. Okay. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he did. All the more reason that was the, to that call that one to go to the hospital, but we're long, we're long past yes. that. Okay. Yes. So when he wakes up and he's just had this horrible night, and we we're we're, we're assuming we have this normal day. This is the day of all days that mm-hmm. we're going to put him in a car with a stranger and walk away from him. So much to the point I'm going to bash my head on a pole in the park just to make my bullshit lie somewhat go, believable. I was going to go to his dad's house, sure. and I told him to pull over. I asked him to pull over, and I got my ass out, and I did. And I at that point, I did not give a fuck. Did you even I tell was, him his name? No, I never no. told him his name. No, I did not. You know, the, the thing that kills me about that. Yes, I'm oh, horrible. Oh, hold on. I'm horrible. I'm, I'm disappointed, Sharice. I'm disappointed. You, you know, you planned, out of all those 24, 36 oh, hours of being awake, oh, that you were no. going to bring... Oh. Hold on. You were going to walk this kid. My. Walk this kid all the way up to South Clearwater. You, you sent the text messages at, what, 10 o'clock at night? From your house. He While you were at your house, hey, I'm walking over. Tell him. He needed to eat. But what was going to happen when they get there? And all of a sudden, he was going to... Oh, at that on. point, hold Jordan on. probably would have been having, be pissed. He's been having seizures all He was fine. Time. A a seizure seizure time. Time. You don't have to believe it. And I, I don't know that. And I know you don't. And that's why, but that is what happened. That is why your son never made it to grandma sentence. Because he probably couldn't walk. He could walk. He probably walked a little he bit, walk. but then he probably and couldn't he walk irritated. anymore. He yeah, got he got irritated. irritated. He probably he broke really, his fucking leg the night before. He got really irritated. Broke his leg and hit his head to the point that he had a seizure that he almost died because he's choking on his own tongue. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want to walk six miles or whatever he it is to grandma. He, I, I, he was good. I don't want to walk to grandma's house with a broken leg. I gave well, him a bath. She can't bring him to grandma because 
Mm-hmm. I can't walk to my grandma's with a broken leg, but I sure as shit got to get rid of them and explain this somehow because no, I didn't call nine one one. I didn't one. get rid of them harmfully. I just left. I left him in a car. I think that's exactly and right. I, left. I think you and did I leave, left. but I don't think you left him in a car. If you left him by the side of the road, no, I didn't. If you left him by the I side did. of the road, he'd be found. Yeah. If you left him with a stranger, right there. If you left him with a stranger in a car. And his backpack, and you just said, hey, pull over here and park. And you got out and walked away. That dude would go, what the fuck is going on? And then when you walk by right there, you still have the backpack that you dumped in the dumpster mm-hmm. near the apartments that you made this whole story up about Antoine. No, I don't believe you one Please. bit, Sharice. Yes. You are a liar. No. You have not no. told me the truth no. all week. No, 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 no. That is a fact. That is a fact. The fact is he's there and he's dead. The fact is you walked by after you left him there in the woods behind that dumpster. You left him there and you carried his backpack and you left it here. And you made all this shit up to make it look like you're not a monster. You are. Because you don't even have the courage to tell your son's story. Something happened to him when you were responsible for him. I don't know if he was dead when you left him or if you just left him there in the woods all alone. Dying. You didn't do anything but leave him. You left him there. You walked away from him. You went there last night to see if he was still there, and he was. I saw him with my own eyes. I found him with my group of people. We found him right where you left him, wearing the clothes, wearing the shoes. Your lies are over. This is your chance to be honest. It's all out on the table, Sharice. People will know this. People will know this story I just tell you. And you can choose to do the right thing and tell us what happened at the apartment that night. Or that's how the story goes. He's not coming back. There he is. You got to tell people what happened, Sherry. Are you remorseful? Mother, or are you a monster? Like you said, it's only one of the two. There's a reasonable explanation, and something got out of hand, and something happened, or you just don't give a shit. And I'm starting to think it's number two. I haven't thought that all week, but boy, do I feel stupid because I've been in your corner. Um, when he fell off the bed. Friday and Saturday? Mm-hmm. He had hit his head. On what bed? I said he had hit his head okay. uh, when he was jumping on his bed in the living room. Okay. What did he hit his head on? On the ground. In the, okay. uh, on the floor. Okay, the type of head injury we're talking about doesn't happen from a, a low fall like that. He might have hit it, you know, jumping on the bed, but a low fall from someone his height jumping on the bed. It doesn't happen. I'm just trying to tell you. I know, I know, but I just I just know from my experience and my training that that type of head injury is much more severe. It's a really hard hit. A really, really, really hard hit. So remember your neighbor I told you about? Did something hit their wall really yeah. hard on Saturday? Mm-mm. Did he hit his head on Mm-mm. something Saturday afternoon? Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. How did he hit his head hard? Mm-mm. What part of his head? Oh, what, I remember. Um, what part of his head did he, he hit? Uh, did you see him hit his head? 
No, but I just seen it was like real red. Well, and how'd like, you know he hit his head? Uh, because it was kind of like um, not like a big knot, but I I, I knew the difference between when he was in there with me and when he was out there playing. Okay. Uh, so where were you when he hit his head? I was in the um, not the living room. I was in the room. The bedroom. Mm-hmm. Okay, and where was he? Uh, he was in the living room. Where his little toddler bed is there? Mm-hmm. Is it the living room or is it like the dining room there? Um, like the like the dining room. Okay. Um, we went, we went where it was yesterday when we went to the apartment? Where me and you went in, it was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where it was. Okay. But it was, um, I don't know if he was there before they took everything out, but no. the bed was like more up against the wall. Yeah, it was pulled off the wall a little bit, but it was against that mm-hmm. wall. Okay. Oh, Damn, dog. How did he hit his head so hard, Sharice? It's like, when I'm telling you the truth, it's like, damn. Like, Why didn't we talk about this two days ago? Why were you afraid to tell me? You know exactly what happened. Did he hit his head at night when he was having the seizure in bed? And he was choking on his tongue? That's probably when he hit his head again, when he was having the seizure. So I'm not sure, because mm-hmm. I woke up to him shaking. That's how I ended up waking up. What so, would he have hit his head on though? He was. Oh, uh, the wall is. Um, I don't have like like uh something to protect me. So sure. He sleep right on the wall. Right. So I I I honestly couldn't tell you that. But even him just rolling or bumping his head on the wall like that, it wouldn't be a severe well, head injury. I don't, I don't. Did you get frustrated? No. Yet? Please stop doing that. Please. I, I have to ask. Please Charisse. stop doing that. I'm trying, please. Was he pissing you off? No. He never makes me mad like that, ever. He never makes me mad like that. He's not even really a crybaby. Like, he never... He's not a crybaby. Something significant had to have happened to him for him to stop breathing. I know it's tough. I know. We're just trying to narrow down the head injury. This is the hardest part. You're right there. You've gone through every single door. I do not know. This is, this I is the last know. door. You do know. I don't know. You do I know. don't know. And that's remember that. that, that I don't know. I really don't know. I really, I really don't know. All that? I remember was he was okay when he was walking. Then he started acting real funny. No. And I just no. I don't. No. You're gonna know right away. It's that. It's that moment when your kid, my kid in the past, has done something. And just snap. You don't think about it because you just you just snap. And no, after it's done, you're like, shit, he, what did he's I He's really not that type of kid. Like, he really isn't to... Maybe not all the time, off. but, you know, you had a hard day. That you're, already, you're already angry at, at Senior. Uh, I, I know, <laughs> Sharice. Because something, <laughs> something, happened. something happened. happened to make you... He didn't bump something. his head on the wall. He didn't fall right. off the bed. You're right there. You're right there. You've done so good, Sharice. No, because don't, 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 no. don't, don't, don't do this that. This is the you final piece so of the puzzle. Good. And then, Charisse. when I'm okay, telling then, you the truth, then, it's like... Then let me tell you something else that I saw at the scene when I saw his body in the water. Mm-hmm. I saw a bruise on his abdomen that's left by a finger, by a squeeze. And what that probably is... Because all I remember that is, is him having... Um, that's him. He has a birthmark right here. Mm-hmm. No, that's it's not a birthmark. Let me see that. Cause you want, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, yeah, you probably will. Where? Right there. That's a bruise. That's not a birthmark. You said his birthmark's on his right side mm-hmm. over here. You know what that this is? This is a bruise. You know what that is? That's somebody grabbing, grabbing the baby and hitting mm-hmm. him against something. That's what that is. Yes. I told you I've been doing this forever, right? I've yes, seen sir. everything. I've seen it. You panicked. You, you wanted to get him to see you, or maybe even the hospital. Hell, you're, you're almost there. And yes, I believe he died in your arms. But something happened to make you leave. I really want to just get him some food. But he didn't eat. You can't eat after a head injury like that. I know he ate. What happened? We, un- we can understand that. I told you, hundreds of people I've interviewed, and they've all skipped yeah, that one second, one split second is all it was. And you would take back that second in your heartbeat, I bet, right now. But we can't take it back because we're human. 
Remember, he says you owe it to Jordan to tell his story, and then he will forgive you. Then you will be forgiven. Since you're back, you owe it to him. Give him the respect. He loves you so much. He, like you said, I was supposed to protect you. That one split second, we've all been there. We've just been lucky enough for something terrible hasn't happened. And now, having watched this forever, which I appreciate your patience, Sharice finally is about to confess. Just to confirm, she claims she was walking with her son over to the son's father's house. They get approached by a man called Antoine, of whom wanted a sexual favor. She did this sexual favor. Then Antoine kidnapped the baby and she woke up in a park. She doesn't know what happened. That's her official story, which of course the police have exposed her. Now she's about to tell the truth. We won't think different of you, Sharice, like you said. It won't matter. You don't have to think anything different of me because I'm going to face up to. But you're not. You're, you're, stopping, you're stopping right here. To other years, and you're not, I'm going to die in prison. You're not facing up to anything because you haven't. You haven't made amends yet. You're right there. I'm going to die in prison. We don't know that. I'm going to. You don't have to judge me. It's going to be a bunch of. I'm going to die in jail. No, 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 no. Remember, I said people. People always want to know what happened. As people, people that will be judging you. Will die be in like, listen, people that will be judging you will say, "Yeah, I've been there." If we go and, and end this chapter, like if you want us to end it, saying she doesn't know, she didn't say anything. That's when they're like, "The hell with her." But give some, give some empathy. Give some, some. Remorse. Finish that book. People can understand frustrations. We've written a whole book this week, Sharice, you and me. This is the last page. Can I call my mom? Yeah, I told you you can call her. Okay, I'm going to let you call her. Okay, but I want to know how he hurt his head. I do not know how he hurt his head. Okay. I don't know. All I can tell you is I left. I came back. When I came back, he was gone. That at that point, he was gone or he was dead. He was dead, and then you put him. I left. In the water. I left, and actually, I didn't put him in the water though. I Where did you put him? him? I raised him up, and I set him over the fence. Was he still alive? Um, I don't think so. I doubt it. How did you lose your shoe? I, I really don't freaking know how I lost my shoe. But I, I did have my shoe at Lago Park. You didn't have it on when you were there on the video? I don't know, so I must have lost it somewhere. Did you lose it back in the mud going back there? No, I never went back there. I'm scared of dirt and shit. Um, you were scared of dirt, but you put him back there? That's just... I can, I see, stop, I can see the path you took. I saw the shoe prints. I never went behind the. Uh, I never went behind the fence. So where? What? No, what, the what part? Of, him, what part of the fence? Right by the dumpster there, the, over the chain link fence. The the what the metal fence? Yeah. I never. I never went over the fence. What? When you put him over the fence, where was the dumpster? Uh, I was. I got behind the dumpster. Okay. And put him over the chain link. Why would you do that if he's still alive? Or is he dead? I'm, I'm really, I just told you. When he came was, back, he was you. cold. So did you leave him in the water mm. yesterday? No, my cousin Erica was with me yesterday. How did he get in the water? I have no idea. Because he was hungry. And I just got mad. And, uh, I wasn't really mad. I just wanted him to get shut, shut up for two seconds. Yeah. Frustrating. How are you holding him? I wasn't holding him. He was um I can feel the weight coming off you as you talk. It's not I've been trying since the beginning to let you know that it's okay. I don't want to die again. I didn't mean 
I know you don't. I know you don't. What happened when he wasn't getting any food? <laughs> you just wanted him to stop crying. It's like, I really want to be in his head really, really hard. On what? On the wall. Which wall? Okay, when was he crying and he wouldn't stop? Because he stood in his eat but we ate that one time Friday. Okay, so this is after Grandma drops off food? No, she came Saturday. Okay. He had fell. He hit his head then. And so, then so what the, this so. was around... Oh, damn. I, I really can't remember the time, but I know he hit his head pretty hard on the wall. It's after the social worker comes? And yeah. bef- is it before the seizure at night? On Saturday night? Oh, or Saturday yeah. morning? The social worker comes at about 8 o'clock on Friday. I want to say... Uh, Yeah, this is after the social worker. Right, right, because he was fine when they came. Mm-hmm. So Friday night, late night. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you said in the bedroom when you were in bed. Okay, you you kind of did this, so you did it with like the back of your hand. Well, he did it. He did it really hard. Back of his head. Yes, sir. What what part of his head did you hit with your hand? Um, I hit the I, I, I like I hit the the front of his face like but it was like right here. Hard. Um, how was he positioned in the bed, and how are you positioned? So I'm, you're you're I'm more here. Up. Your bed's in the corner. Of the I'm room. more up. This is the corner of your room, and the bed's like that. Yeah, but say like we're on this side. Like, well, I'm like gonna do the, it. I'm gonna do it this way. Okay. This way. I'll be George. Okay, so this is the corner of your room back here? Yeah, and he's closer to the window. Okay. Because I got to sit up towards the end. Sure. Like when I'm up for my phone to charge. And your bed has a wall right on mm-hmm. it. Okay. And then I just... He was sitting up right there where, where my partner's sitting? And where did your hand... Don't hit my partner, obviously. Mm-hmm. Huh. Just put your hand on it. Put your hand Like that. Like, like really by the hot. eyes. And then his head and goes by. Okay. Back. What happened when he hit his head? Um, he was crying, but he was like, uh, at that point I felt bad. Cause he was sure, crying. sure. Um, is that, is that why? But, um, uh, when did you start having seizures? I'm proud of you. Oops. I'm proud of you. It's okay. Oops. It happened. <laughs> it happened. Okay. It's hard, to say. it's hard to say. I know you didn't mean it. I know you didn't mean it. It's exactly what I've been saying from the get go, Sharice. It was a split second. Oh shit. I know you're fed up. I expect you to be fed up. I know you fucked up, but. I know, and we can't bring him back. Sharice, if we could, if we could bring him back, we all would. There's not one person in this world. It's a murder. Okay. How long do you think? I don't know. I don't know. That's way down the road. Way, way down the road. No, I don't. I wanted to ask. Can you please come to court? I I will be there. I promise. No, no, you better speak. I know. Well, you know, Sharice, I I told you, I told you in the beginning, I don't think you're a bad person. I'm not, Sharice. I still don't think you're a bad person. Oh, my. What's going to take place? I mean, I know I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to know, like... At this point, you're considered under arrest. You're being charged mm-hmm. with aggravated child abuse. Okay. And first-degree murder. How bad is that? Um, It's not good. I know. I just, like... It's not good. As far as penalties go, 
honestly. Um, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Um, based on your experience. Based on my experience, not good. Um, but what happens is you're charged today, okay? You get charged. We send you to county jail. Um, we bring all the case to the state attorney's office, and they make a filing decision on it. They'll review everything. They'll talk with us, and they'll decide what to file the charge as. Um, and they can change it. They can alter it. But I'm pretty confident they'll probably stay with what they've chosen. Um, and, you know, you'll get your own attorneys, and, and they'll decide how to handle it from there. After today, I'm basically out of the decision making pool. Um, I understand. So, okay. I just want to know, like, where do you see this going? Like, like away from <coughs> being. Quite honestly, Sharice, it's up to you. It's up to you where it goes from here. You know, you can, you can, you can take it however you want to take it. You know, you'll, you'll have your own lawyer who will give you advice on what they think you should do. And you just got to do what's best for you. And there's no hard feelings here. This is not, um, you know, I don't take anything you decide from here. I don't personally. You, you're looking out for yourself. And it's okay. And I don't want to slap on your wrist, you know. I mean, no, I, I deserve yeah, I don't, to. I don't think it's going to be a slap on the wrist. I, I mean, deserve just, to be punished. I just. Yeah, and that's not for me to decide. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, and that's up to the system at this point. It's up to us. Out of our hands. So after all the elaborate lies, all the wheeling and dealing, all the scheming, this silly cow was sentenced to 50 years in prison. Poor Jordan, buried by his mom. May he rest in peace. As for this moron, may she never be released. Anyway, comment, tell me what you think.